welcome to another Tactical Fly Fisher fly tying tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be tying for you the Soft Tackle Carrot, which is one of my confidence patterns from um, our instructional film Modern Nymphing that a lot of you have been asking for. I'm starting with a size 14 uh, nymph hook here and a 2.8 millimeter slotted copper Tactical Fly Fisher bead, a tungsten bead. And I've got some 015 lead wire. I'm just going to go ahead and make three wraps here and break it off flush, then turn my vise upside down and let the bead fall so that the slot is facing upward and then jam my lead into it and that's going to offset that bead again a little bit towards the back and open up that hook gap. Then I have some 16 knot uh, brown vivis thread here. And I'll go ahead and make that thread base to the back and advance it to where I'm going to tie in the tail. And for the tail I have some Coq de Leon here. You could use whatever shade you prefer. I've got four fibers. I'm going to measure first so it's about as long as the body or maybe slightly less. Transfer it to my left hand and then use a pinch wrap by putting the thread between my two fingers here, coming around the hook shank, and uh, then using pressure that goes in an upward direction before I've applied any, and that'll snap that thread all the way around the hook and anchor those fibers right in line with the hook shank. Can't see it all that well with the, the vise in the background, but um, those fibers are right in line with the hook shank and not kilt it off to the side at all because of that uh, pin trap. Okay, the next step is to get your ribbing. And for this fly, your ribbing is actually going to be some Vivas fluorescent uh, orange power thread. You could do fluorescent orange or fluorescent fire orange. You could also use some glow bright floss. Uh, but this is 140 denier power thread that I've doubled over. And I'm just going to tie that in. And pull it back till it's flush under the thread wraps. And we're uh, just making a hair's ear dubbed body here. And we'll try and make it pretty thin. This is a great you know, all around impressionistic pattern. It can look like a, a mayfly or a caddis um, or just something buggy that, that fish want to eat, but that that orange rib really makes it stand out a little bit and it's fished very well for me. I'm just dubbing the uh, abdomen here and I'm going to leave a little bit of space here at the front form a little bit of a taper but it doesn't have to be very steep. Then I'm grabbing my dubbing loop tool here and I'm going to spin this ribbing into a nice thick heavy rope and that makes it not only so that it'll stand out but it toughens it up so that I don't have to counter rib it in order to get it to uh, avoid falling apart when it runs into fish's teeth. I used to just do this with a single strand that I counter ribbed with, with uh, tippet, but I found this works just as well and it's easier. All right, so I have my abdomen and it's ribbed. Before I add some hackle, I first want to make just a little bit of a dubbing bump at the front of this hair's ear here. And yeah, it adds a little bit of taper, but more importantly, it's going to flare out this hackle fiber for me so that you get more movement out of it in the water. Now for this fly, instead of a, a typical chicken soft hackle, hen hackle, something like that, uh, I'm going to use uh, CDC, which is something I've done a lot on many of my soft hackles lately. Uh, it just moves exceptionally well and has a lot of buggy properties to it. So I've stroked back the fibers on this CDC feather so that only the tip is um, facing upward and all the other fibers are out to the side. That'll gain me some access 
to tie that tip down without matting down the rest of the fibers. Crank it down with at least four good wraps because it can slide out pretty easily with the, the stiffness of the CDC quill. And just take your hackle pliers and we're only going to make two wraps here. It's very easy to overdress a soft hackle and overdressing it will actually reduce the movement because all the fibers are going to clump together plus it doesn't provide any uh, vision of the trout into that body on the inside it's just colored uh, covered completely by CDC fibers and that's counterproductive all right now you can see that because of that thread bump we put behind that CDC hackle is flared out to the side and we want that. We don't want it swept back. It might look better swept back, but you're going to get more movement out of it by having it propped away from the fly. Now I have some uh, olive, or sorry, I have some UV brown uh, ice dubbing here. Makes a nice contrast on the front of this fly. I don't want to get too much on there. Just want a little bit of a collar to uh, give some contrast and finish off the head of the fly nicely. And then for my head cement, I'm just using some brushable Loctite here. And I've come to really like this Loctite, which I sell in the shop because the, the head or the brush on this applicator doesn't have a typical set of threads that you have to screw on that'll get plugged up with super glue quickly and your bottle won't last very long. It's just got one little click on that uh, makes it so it stays usable for a lot longer. Then I've just finished it off with uh, a few whip finish turns. You don't have to do more than three or four when you get that super glue in there because it'll hold it nice and fast. Um, now, obviously that CDC hackle is a little too long. The great thing about CDC though is that you can very easily trim it with your fingernails. So I'm dividing it and uh, taking half of the fibers and stroking them towards the bottom as I drop it here. And then breaking those off with my thumb and index fingernails about as long as the hook or just a little bit longer than the back of the hook. Then I'm taking the top of the fly and sweeping the fibers that way and doing the same thing over just breaking it off with my fingernails again. And I may have even gone a little too short on that. But now you'll see that I've got nice slightly uneven hackle fibers that uh, really um, fish well and, and don't you know form this big bulbous snaggly looking fly with uh, really long uh, fibers. Uh, and but they're also not clipped flush which looks pretty unnatural as well so that's the finished soft tackle carrot uh, go give it a try it's a great summer fly uh, anytime you have caddis or summer mayflies around it works well for all those um, just a, a great all-around pattern to have in your box great to fish on the swing a little bit with a down and across presentation um, if you like what you uh, you saw in this tutorial please give us a like and a share on Facebook uh, and find us on Instagram at Tactical Fly Fisher as well and uh, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.